Cartier Buffalo Horn Frames are probably the most luxurious glasses ever conceived. And in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing every single iteration of the Buffalo Horn rimless designs. I'm going to be explaining how to care for your pair long term, and most importantly, how to customize your lenses to make yours one of a kind. So hi, I'm Robert, Style and Vision Consultant here at the Spectacle Factory, and it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And if you're shopping for Buffalo Horn rimless frames, this is the video for you with everything you need to know about these glasses. And we're going to start where it all began with the classic Cedar Cartier rimless. This is probably the most understated, the most, in a way, elegant and classy, and by far the most popular Buffalo Horn frame that Cartier makes. It's quite simplistic in its design. We have either gold or platinum metal hardware along the front, and that is at the bridge and the lugs, with the classic Cedar Cartier logo, and then, of course, Buffalo Horn temples. Now, this is in the platinum with the black horn, and within the Cartier collection, there'll always be two color options of Buffalo Horn, black and white, as we're about to get to. The black is definitely the most low-key, the most under the radar, and for that reason, it's very popular for those who don't want anything flashy or ostentatious. You couldn't mistake these for any other glasses in the world, and that is what is special about Cartier as a so-called designer brand. They create designs that are iconic across the range, completely unique to them, and above all, beautiful. Now, this being the oldest style of Buffalo Horn frames that Cartier make, it definitely has also the most old-fashioned lens, but that's where customization comes in. Because if you're buying any of these glasses and you're not customizing the lenses in some way, you're really not letting them live up to their true potential. For example, this is the same frame, the exact same model, featured in the white horn, of course, with gold hardware, 23 karat gold, as opposed to the platinum. You can see just how different they look, not only because of the color, but also because of the shape and tint on the custom lenses. We took the shape from the classic 0270S sunglass, which is by far our most popular Cartier style. We took that exact shape and mounted it to the Buffalo Horn frames, and it elevates them so much from the original style. It makes this pair have so much more presence, so much more of a luxury aesthetic, rather than that one being very minimalist almost, this one is far from minimalist. And that's a general theme with the white horn. If you really want to make a statement with your glasses, the white is always gonna stand out more than the black. These are not only the shape from the 0270S, but the Blue and Beyond technology as well. So these lenses, whilst they look awesome inside with the sapphire finish on the lens surface, they look arguably even better when exposed to UV light outside in the sun. Because this lens, when it's exposed to UV, is going to darken to a full sunglass tint a really dark sunglass tint with a more prominent sapphire finish. The sapphire is what gives it that blue glow. It looks incredibly beautiful in the sun. And that means with a lens type like this, whether you need prescription lenses or not, you have a custom pair of sunglasses as well as a custom pair of glasses. That means you can wear these all day long in any conditions, day and night, and you just have an awesome piece of custom eyewear truly beautiful. And this kind of thing can be done with any of the Buffalo Horn frames. The possibilities for customization are endless, as you're going to see. And many people do wear the Cartier rimless Buffalo Horn frames as purely sunglasses. That's how this pair is set up, which is one of the newer Buffalo Horn designs. This is the Premier de Cartier that came out last year. Premier de Cartier always denotes the three ridges along the bridge and the lugs. And that is one element that separates these from the classic Cedar Cartier frames. The Premier de Cartier definitely looks that little bit more dressed up, I would say. Less of an everyday frame and more of a statement piece. In this case, the metalwork extends halfway down the temple. I love that feature. And I thought that was new for last year, but it turns out it's actually a reissue of a vintage style that Cartier used to produce in the 80s and 90s. And I can see why they've brought it back, because it simply looks incredible. Not least because of the custom hexagonal shape that's in these. That hexagonal shape, I just think, gives these glasses that really edgy character. And if you do want your glasses to look a bit more creative, a little bit more unique, a geometric shape like this is the best way to do it. You could customize these in the same way as the Blue and Beyond pair that we just looked at. You could have these whether clear indoors, dark outside, that's what most people choose, or with some kind of custom tint that makes them just stand out a little bit more. 
as we're about to get to with the blue in a second. But what you'll notice with this pair particularly is just how different the patination on the horn is compared to the patination on the first black horn temple that we showcased. When you compare these side by side, it's really a night and day difference. And that is the magic of buffalo horn because you will never ever get two pairs the same. Generally speaking, most people look for this amount of patination where you have almost equal parts black and white. And that's true whether they go for the white horn, which is obviously primarily white, but with a lot of black, or in this case, the black, which has a lot of white. But technically the rarest forms of buffalo horn frames are either the pure white or the pure black. Now for true collectors, those are the ones that are most sought after. Ironically, they're the ones that least look like buffalo horn because you don't have that natural patination. And you could say that that makes them less beautiful, but it definitely makes them rarer as well. And for people who want a really special buffalo horn frame, that is often the way to go. But speaking of special, the tint in this pair, which is also from the Premier de Cartier series, makes them truly special. This is adaptive sun technology. So the difference between this and the blue and beyond is that rather than going almost clear inside and they eventually will go back to clear, these always have a permanent tint of roughly 60%. And that gives a really refreshing blue hue to everything that you see, which is actually really nice and relaxing. Combined with the white horn, it just gives them that, that feeling of you just being very reassured, very self-assured, very relaxed and calm. Like you really know that everything's going to plan. That's the kind of vibe that I get from these glasses. And again, that is partly to do with the frame, partly to do with the lenses. This is the classic Premier Ducati design. So unlike the last pair that we looked at, this features only the metalwork at the front similarly to the C de Cartier that we looked at first. And this also has the C logo, although it's definitely smaller by comparison. You can really see that here when the frames are side by side. Now, the Premier de Cartier line is not available in platinum, but it is available in either black or white horn. You'll notice though that the white horn doesn't continue all the way through, and that is typical. Cartier actually aren't using a solid piece of buffalo horn. They could do that, and that would actually be a cheaper manufacturing process but to guarantee the integrity of the horn and make this as solid and as rigid as possible and as durable as possible, Cartier actually used laminate layers that are bonded together. That makes the frames, number one, more durable, as I said, but number two, more adjustable. And with the right technique, buffalo horn frames can be adjusted to fit you better. Buffalo horn frames need to be adjusted in the right way. The method that I've been taught is using steam. So, what that means is that rather than using a frame heater, which is typically very much like a hairdryer, it just blows hot, dry air at the frames. With buffalo horn, you've got to be careful not to dry the material out. So by using steam to heat it, that actually hydrates the horn as you're warming it up. And that means that eventually, once you've steamed it for probably about 10 minutes, it actually becomes somewhat malleable and you can actually bend it into a shape. You can either curve it around the ears or you can curve it into the temple to mean that it will actually grip your head better and stop them from sliding off if necessary. But for the vast majority of people, they're not gonna get the buffalo horn glasses adjusted because they need to be made to measure in the first instance. And that's where if you order custom lenses, they should be made exactly to your size. If they are, the natural texture of the horn will provide a really nice reassuring grip. And that means no adjustment necessary. Now I really like with the Premier de Cartier frames how they're actually featured with the Cartier plaque. You don't see that on the classic C de Cartier horn. And I actually think that's a little bit nicer than the double C logo that's at the end of the newer Premier de Cartier design. And I mentioned that these are available in both black and white horn. This is a great example of the black, one that is almost pure black, but just with the faintest hint of patination. Again, this is relatively understated for a Premier de Cartier frame, probably about as understated as you could get. I could really see this pairing with like a beautiful green tint or definitely faceted edges. Faceted edges is where you have the polished edge around the lens that really makes them catch the light like a gemstone. None of these examples have it, but it's very popular with Cartier collectors. And when you have a more understated temple design, I think it gives you more of a blank canvas to really go creative with the lenses. You can go statement on the lenses and have the arms more subtle. And I think that's a really nice juxtaposition of the two. Now, finally, the newest, and you could argue most special, Buffalo Horn frames within the Cartier catalog are the new, for 2023, Santos de Cartier Rimless. Now, Santos de Cartier is the famous and very iconic line within Cartier that's not just exclusive to glasses, but with watches and jewelry where you have the exposed screws. And there's a whole story behind that. I've covered that on this channel before. And therefore, it was just so cool to see Cartier bring 
the Santos de Cartier line in with Buffalo Horn Temples. I do wish that they incorporated those screws into the bridge section. I think that's a bit of a wasted opportunity and it does mean that the bridge looks a little bit out of place compared to the rest of the frame. But the fact is the rest of the frame is beautiful enough that that doesn't really matter. This is definitely one I think for someone who has a lot of confidence and the frame shows that. Again, it's available in both white horn and black horn. This is the black. Black is of course beautiful too. You have that incredible patination. I think if you're someone with shorter hair, that is a great frame to choose because that is where they really shine out. Particularly because of that exposed screw that finishes off the end of the temple. A beautiful finishing touch. They didn't need to do it, but it shows incredible attention to detail and I really appreciate that. Speaking of attention to detail, it's very important that you look after your buffalo horn frames properly. And that is where the Buffalo Horn Care Cream comes in. You'll get one of these with each Buffalo Horn frame that you order, and it's very important that you use it regularly. You see, horn being a natural material, it dries out over time. And as it dries out, number one, its luster starts to fade, but number two, it starts to become brittle and it can break. We don't want that to happen. That's where this care cream comes in. And with all Buffalo Horn frames, whether they're Cartier or another brand, you've always got to use this. It's a very, very oily substance, so you really don't need to use very much. Just a little bit on your fingertip, which you'll then rub down the temple, just gently. And don't worry about it damaging any of the gold hardware, by the way, there's no chance of that happening. It's uh, designed to be safe to use with the frames, anywhere on the frames. Just try not to get it on your lenses because it's a very oily substance, and once you get it on the lens, it's very difficult to get off. But you only need to use a tiny little bit, and you should do that two to three times a year, depending on how dry the area that you live in is. If you're in a more humid climate, then twice a year is probably fine, but it doesn't hurt to use it more often than not. It's better to be safe than sorry with frames as valuable as this. A nice little touch though that I think is very telling about Cartier is the fact that they actually finished the care cream with a lavender perfume. It kind of evokes the memory of when you first bought them, makes them feel like a new pair again. And that's pretty special. And it'll always be a special moment when you buy your first Buffalo Horn frame, or your second, or your third. They are probably the most special glasses in the world. But what do you think? Which pair do you like best? Which Buffalo Horn version would you choose? In the white or the black? I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts. But if you have enjoyed this video, give us a like. Subscribe to the channel for more of the best eyewear content on the internet, including, breaking news, some new Cartier releases. They've actually just announced a brand new Buffalo Horn design. So if you wanna see that, you need to subscribe because I'll be the first to showcase it here on YouTube and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.